Hello, you're listening to Mel Verbalizers, and I am you one. And today I will verbalize the band Worsnell. Worsnell is a thrash metal band from Montreal, Canada, and I believe was founded in 2011. The band's sound I would kind of summarize to, uh, in, in in ways, a very old school thrash metal sound, but but also kind of with a with a modern touch to things. I would say. Uh, something that I quickly uh, kind of thought about and, and still to this day do when I uh, listen to Worsnell is that they, they give me a certain destruction vibe. You know, the old school thrash metal band Destruction from Germany. It's like, it, there's something in the sound. I think it's, uh, it's a lot of vocals specifically uh, for me, I believe, that that really gives me a uh, very like old school destruction vibe to things, you know. Uh, think something like uh, uh, albums like uh, Release from Agony, for example. Um, it, it's just something that really reminds me of that, you know. M- really ma- makes me think of that. So, so it's basically like Release from Agony, Destruction, and then kind of put that and put a more modern kind of touch to it I think that then you would kind of get war snow basically um, and and actually something that's really cool with the war snow uh, that I would like to kind of share with you guys uh, is that uh, uh, a while ago now uh, I was actually contacted by Matt from war uh, and uh, and he actually offered me a free pin uh, or a free patch uh, because uh, I had been in contact with him through Facebook and uh, and he saw my uh, uh, vest, my denim vest and uh, I assume uh, that he liked it and and uh, since I had shared their music quite a lot uh, around uh, I guess he wanted to kind of su- thank me for that support you know uh, and uh, well, that was that was a really really cool thing. Uh, it was not at all something I w- was expecting, uh, but it was a very very nice thing uh, for him to do. And and uh, <laughs> that that feeling, you know, when when I saw that message when he offered that, it 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 was a very special feeling. And and it's really hard to kind of put it in words, but but I have a very very deep gratitude uh, towards Matt and Warsnell for that thing um, really so uh, well <laughs> I don't know really what to say about that but other than like very thank you for that worst um, but it's really hard to kind of put it in words uh, and something I would also like to kind of add with that is that uh, this had nothing to do uh, with this podcast uh, that they gifted me this so we're not so to speak uh, sponsored in that way uh, that that was a personal thing. Uh, it didn't have anything to do with this podcast or or the uh, blog that uh, that was before this was a podcast or anything like that. It, that was specifically personal, which which to me personally, I think I think that makes it kind of even cooler in a way that that they were like they, they didn't contact me as a podcaster or like a a uh, like. You know, as a uh, as a podcaster or a blogger or something like that, they they just contact me as a fan and and like uh, offered me such a great thing. So that that is also kind of what makes it, at least to me personally, makes it even cooler and and ma- ma- makes it very special. And uh, that pin, I'm definitely wearing with a lot of pride and honor on my vest and have done so since I got it and uh, yeah I, I absolutely appreciate that and I re- really like th- these kind of things show uh, to me how much Warsnell really care about their fans and how how us fans really mean so much to them which is always very very nice to kind of feel uh, as a fan and you know I've been I've been in contact uh, with uh, Warsnell and sp- specifically Matt uh, quite a few times now and 
and uh, I have absolutely only good things to say about them, bo both uh, musically and personally. It just uh, you, you send them a message, and and they're relatively very quick to answer, and they're super super nice about it. Very nice guys, very very helpful. Uh, ju just just great great people generally. Um, uh, so I would also kind of like to uh, go into more more about their releases and uh, music. Uh, so we could uh, we could kind of start with a demo uh, they released in, in 2012, uh, which is uh, which is to me a, a a very good demo and a very good start to things. And uh, and it it took them uh, around uh, three years, I believe, uh, in 2015. Uh, when they released their debut album uh, titled Barn Burner, uh, which I'm a big fan of personally, um, and uh, and it took uh, quite a few years for them to uh, release uh, the next the full-length album, which was in 2019, I believe, which was titled Feast Your Eyes. Uh, the album cover is something that really uh, got my attention immediately. In fact, I believe that that I I believe it was actually that album cover when I saw that that immediately got me interested in Warsnell from the from the beginning. I believe that that album cover was actually what really kind of got me hooked. Like I have to check this band out. Uh, right now, I do not actually remember how I found that album cover. Like how I actually found Warsnell, uh, but definitely I, I I believe that that album cover was what what kind of you know that that kind of moment you you feel that like this this is something I need I have to check this out this this seems cool that was uh, that was the case with that album cover for me um, and and uh, well if you if you've seen this album cover uh, with the kind of like uh, uh, hooded dark uh, guy who's uh, uh, piercing a piece of glass into to the eye of a woman. Um, it it is pretty obvious that it's very influenced by uh, by horror and like horror movies. And and I, actually, I I I, uh, I contacted Matt about this and and kind of asked a little bit about this uh, uh, album cover because I. I had a small recollection that Matt mentioned a specific movie that it was actually uh, inspired by, um, and uh, and he answered, and uh, and uh, he said it was a, uh, that it was a kind of a nod to a uh, short film. I believe it's a French short film uh, with <laughs> with a French name, and since I know nothing about French. Uh, I'm probably gonna butcher that pronunciation pretty hard, but I'm gonna try. It's something along the lines of uh, Un Chien Andalou. Not sure if I pronounced that correctly, I probably absolutely did not, but uh, I, I will mention that movie in the description of this episode, uh, as well as perhaps on our social medias uh, later when I'm going to write about this. Um, verbalization so uh, if you couldn't really tell what I was uh, trying to pronounce there <laughs> uh, I will write it there for you to check out later if you'd like to but uh, th th something that I think is really really cool uh, about this album cover as well is that uh, uh, when I when I asked Matt about uh, what uh, the album cover was uh, inspired by what movie, etc. He also told me uh, a lot, actually, uh, about the uh, kind of meaning behind the picture, and it, and it was really cool because it had a lot of kind of deep meaning to it that I th thought was really really cool, um, uh, like everything from like what Warsnell kind of mean with the title "Feast Your Eyes." Um, and uh, it's kind of cool because the the song "Feast Your Eyes" is uh, is basically you know to to summarize it up I I believe it's like 
is about entertain entertainment and you know how it's perceived by the listeners and viewers and something very interesting as well is that the song's lyric uh, mentions this kind of common thing among people that uh, when you see others suffering uh, like you know when you see other people suffering more than you do you kind of automatically feel better in your situation and about yourself and that uh, Matt, Matt uh, explained that this is kind of why the album cover is intentionally you know very violent very gory and bloody because it's supposed to kind of work as a symbol for this idea that you shiver but yet you can't look away uh, that that kind of thing which i which i think re really really works very very well with this um album cover and all and i i think it's really cool you know uh, about this kind of thing that uh people tend to complain about all this negativity and all this violence and death uh, that they they see on TV all the time and on media, but but yet at the same time, at the same time as they are kind of complaining about all these things, they can't look away, and that's kind of kind of what what that album cover is supposed to kind of portray that that whole idea. Uh, but actually. Even though this is actually very interesting in itself, the kind of meaning behind the album cover actually does not stop here. Uh, because the aggressor, the, the, uh, the guy with holding the glass piece, also has a very deep, deep meaning in this cover. Uh, and basically, as I understood from what Matt told me, is that the aggressor is supposed to represent uh, Warsnell. It's supposed to represent the artist, uh, and that if you if you look at the album cover, you can actually you can actually tell that uh, the man is actually hurting himself on the piece of glass, and that itself is kind of supposed to represent this idea that an artist has to hurt himself, or you know, sacrifice himself in one way or another in order to entertain you see uh, and that uh, in order to entertain someone someone must sac sacrifice himself and and i believe that wars not kind of mean mean that uh, artists uh, uh, sacrifices themselves in one way or another for us uh, for us listeners for us fans in order to entertain us and to to uh, play for us on tours to release albums for us, etc., uh, etc. Et so, so I think it's a very cool and deep meaning there. That that definitely is very powerful, and 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 I was very very uh, fascinated when I read uh, Matt's uh, message to me when he explained this. Uh, and actually, uh, speaking of uh, releasing albums, uh, Matt also told me. That Warsnell is actually currently rehearsing new songs for a new album, uh, and he said that also said that, uh, that they might release these at some point in the coming summer this year. Uh, he didn't promise anything. Um, he just said that they hope to get it released until then. So it's kind of like a maybe. So in case they they don't um, just don't be too uh, disappointed because this is kind of like a th th this is not a promise he just said that they might and hopefully will be able to release it uh, until summer and and uh, since I am personally a very big Warsnell fan and and I definitely uh, like this and uh, are very very inspired by these guys myself personally so I, I really, really hope that they will be able to make it because so hearing some new music from Warsnell is going to be amazing. But uh, at the same time, I'd also kind of like to add that I do not believe that they should kind of rush things. Uh, they should kind of take their time, uh, 
do it as good as they can and uh, whenever they release it if it is in the, in the coming summer or if it's later than that i will definitely be there and i will definitely listen to it um and uh and i hope it's gonna be great and and i i definitely think believe it will uh but i don't know uh i think uh, uh i believe it's kind of time to wrap, wrap things up now and uh, and well i appreciate you listening and uh, if you like this episode make sure to follow us on mel verbalizers and we will give you more tips like this one have a good one <laughs>